at this. Question mark squared plus 65 squared equals to 160 squared minus 90 squared minus 7191. I'll give you the options 75, 77, 79, 81 and fifth option is none of these. Let's look at the solution now. How much time will it take? Ideally, if you want to do the complete solution, 65 square, 160 square, though easy, but it would take some time. 65 square, how much is 65 square? 4225, 160 square, to be uh, 6 lakh 40 thousand, right? Then 90 square, 90 square will be how much? 88,100, 8, then 7191. So you can do that simplification part and then take the square root because this is question mark square. Remember, I told you, you have to be careful about these kind of questions and you'll be able to get the answer. So, it would take about 45 seconds, not, not more than that, right? Even if you do the complete solution, it would not take more than that. But a smart way of getting the answer will, will help you arrive, the, arrive to the correct answer in just about 5 seconds, I can say, or, or maximum 10 seconds. What is that? Unix place method. Look at this, 5, 7, 9, 1. So make some sense, go for Unix place method. If at all, you are ready to take a chance because fifth option still is none of this. If all the answers are ending in uh, 5 let's say or all are ending in 7 then there is no point in going for unit space method right so depending on the option you have to select the uh, method right now 5 square when a number ends in 5 you very well know this from the speed maths uh, video now when a number ends in 5 its square always ends in 5 so I know that this number is going to end in 5 when a number ends in 0 its square always ends in 0 so this number is going to end in 0 when a number ends in 0 its square always ends in 0 so this is going to end in 0 and this is a simple number, direct number there, which ends in 1. So this number ends in 1. So 0, minus and minus, right? Same sign, whatever signs are here. And question mark square, plus. The left hand side anyway cannot be simplified because question mark there has to be calculated. Let's look at the right hand side. Yes or no? 0 minus 0 is 0. One number ends in 0, the other number ends in 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1. Now here comes a very important. 0 minus 1 is what? Minus 1? Yes, minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. But remember, there is a larger number. What do we do? We borrow 1. We borrow 1 from the 10th place and we try to make it positive value. So, 0 minus 1 is what? 10 minus 1, 9. I can say that this right hand side here ends in 9. I'll, I'll just repeat this. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1, ideally it's minus, I mean, strictly speaking, minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. But here you are looking at the digits, units place. 0 minus 1. What do we do? We borrow 1 from the next place. So 10 minus 1 makes it 9. So this right hand side here is going to end in 9. Now try to compare this part with this part. Question mark square plus 5 should be equal to something ending in 9. Look at this. If I try to balance this, I want 9 to be the total. Already we have got 5 here. So what should be this question mark square? Question mark square should be ending in 4. Why? If this value ends in 4, 4 plus 5 makes it 9. Question mark square should end in 4. Now, when does the square of a number end in 4? Look at this. This is a square. Something should come in place of question mark. That's what we are required to find out. Now, what square will end in 4? Either the number should end in 2 or the number should end in 8. 2 square 4, 8 square 64, ending in 4. 12 square 144, 18 square 324 and so on, right? So, either the number should end in 8 or should end in 2. 2 or 8. That, those are the possible answers. Answers should end in 8 or in 2. Look at the options. 75, not possible. 77, not possible. Not possible. Not possible. 100%, fifth option, none of this is the correct answer. Which I am sure most of you have followed. You have got the right answer without uh, doing the complete calculation. So this is how unit space method will help you out. Get to the point. I know that the answer should end in 4. 75 square doesn't end in 4. 77 square doesn't end in 4. 79 square doesn't end in 4. 81 square doesn't end in 4. What ends in 4 here should be the fifth option. Now.